Hey, hey, we are back again on the same night, as you can see by... I'm still wearing the same clothes. I have made my cup of cocoa that I was going to go make at the end of the last video. Um, using some almond milk and a dark chocolate hot cocoa bomb. I'm just waiting for it to cool a little bit because the milk is very hot. So we have the next Amberlynn Reed video that I need to catch up on. And this one is titled Halloween Festivities. And a little... GF shopping behind the scenes and this is a vlog and um, so I just noticed something um, as I was reading the title of her video here I just noticed that the Amber Lynn store is still up uh, let me get my screen shared here she does have her merch still up. The Dainty Girl. There's a Samsung case, an accessory pouch. Um, the merch moment stuff. Uh, there's a yoga mat. <laughs> pillow Mountain Pillow. I will say the Pillow Mountain Pillow is kind of clever. Um, I did order some accessory bags. Oh, there's Twinkie. Not, not from her, but from um, Abdullah's Smash. I ordered some merch from him uh, like a year, year and a half or so ago um, to use for my Nintendo Switch um, to put like the controllers and some things in. So I use those for some my Nintendo Switch stuff. But, uh, oh look, the hickeys are back. She doesn't have them covered. So this is after her Halloween live stream, which I haven't watched yet. As I mentioned in a video uh, a couple videos ago, I will be doing that on a live stream. Uh, probably will have already done it before you see this video, possibly. So, um, I might do that first thing Saturday morning. Let me stir my cocoa. And almond milk. Um, almond milk doesn't heat up as well as cow's milk, but that's all good. Let's go ahead and see... Uh, what she dressed up for as Halloween here in this video, and what this girlfriend shopping is, and see if she's still doing keto. Hello, hello, welcome to a new vlog. So I'm gonna put Little the dates shaky there. on my videos until Hallelujah. Vlogmas, because Vlogmas will be up to speed. My videos have been up to speed for a couple months now, um, since I hurt my ankle, but I have been filming a little bit more, and I don't like uploading back to back. I like there to be a space. So I've been I'm so behind on my own personal stuff, and I feel kind of bad about that, but not many people watch it anyway. Um, and I've just been really busy, not doing a whole lot as far as that. My eating's been crap, but, you know, we'll get into that later. Uploading every other day, but regardless, hello, today is October 30th. I okay. literally woke up just a little bit ago. Um, my plan was to dress oh, up maybe this day and obviously tomorrow for Halloween, but I... Okay, so this is recorded October 30th, and it'll be uploaded at a later date. In my world today, it is November 11th, and in South Korea, that is Bebero Day, because it looks like Bebero sticks, 1111. I woke up, and I did not feel an ounce of motivation to actually dress up. Like, hi, Do I you am Mike ever feel motivation? I was going to have a whole... Ma <laughs> Mike Wazowski. Wake up moment i don't know if i'm feeling it today and i don't know if i'll be feeling it tomorrow um i do have a costume for tomorrow but it's okay like a simple cute mike wazowski moment so i just noticed as i'm editing that her shirt is the same color as my green screen so the background is visible through her shirt and i'm not sure if i'll have fixed that during my editing or not but yeah you may not be seeing Amberlynn's shirt, the actual color, unless I fix the color key. <laughs> cute shirt. It's cute. It's cute. And I am wearing like I green like hoops, like whatever. Cute. I didn't do my makeup. It's fine. But I do want to say I am filling. Oh, look at that. This freaking globe. We are getting there, folks. We are almost done. I am on. Making good progress. Step 13. Oh my gosh, it's been Isn't there like so 20 something. Fun. It's like when I'm done with that, I don't have another Lego. And this time of year, like I'm spending my money on other people because it's Christmas. So speaking of Christmas, there is a YouTuber that I'm actually shopping. collabing with this Vlogmas. Hold on. 
Oh, we're going to have an Amberlynn collab. Oh, who's she collaborating with? I wonder. Is it going to be Foodie Beauty? <laughs> oh, apparently Chantal's gotten married over in Kuwait to a guy she knew for like two minutes. Hello? Hi, so they don't have the text you're looking for. What you mean? It's a glossy paper. What you mean? What you talking about, Willis? Does she really talk like that? Oh, no, no, no. I don't want glossy. All right, I love you. Love you. I love you, baby. I love you, baby. I have to go pick up her medicine at Walmart, and I really wanted a, like, one of the... Oh. Do you really need to leave your phone call in? Hello. Yeah, those are good. Okay. Okay. Thank you, babe. Right, I love you. I love you. Visor. Visor. <laughs> um, she went to go pick up her medicine, and I was actually in the shower, so I didn't go with her. But I wanted this like really big. Fudlene left the house on her own. <gasps> Amberlynn let her leave the place on her own i thought amberlyn had said previously they're never separate they always go out together poster board because i was going through my old instagram photos i have been doing that because i am deleting my instagram photos like almost every single one of them really it's why i to go back and look at <clears throat> it's because they're full of your ex-girlfriends oh speaking of other social media Amberlynn's TikTok got suspended briefly because of her um, her sobbing over the cookie video. Um, I'm I'm assuming that people reported the video, and her account got suspended until she took that down. Is my guess. So yeah, the that that relapse is difficult video um, apparently. Uh, struck a lot of people the wrong way. Like 2013, that's like, whoa. But um, yeah, I kind of just wanted to like start over on Instagram in that regard, but I also wanted to like see the past shit that I um, have posted. So I've been like just going through one by one. It has been a couple weeks that I've been doing this because um, huh. I just do it sporadically. Interesting. <clears throat> that's a word. Anyways, so I was looking at my old Instagram and I saw um, a picture that I drew from one of my exes. And it's like, I used to doodle. I love doodling, but like I, the whole page would be um, covered. And so when Feline went to Walmart, I was like, oh, this is a perfect opportunity to get like a really big piece of poster board so I can create like a really big one, just like my downtime or like times when I want to binge or just like a moment. Your downtime. <laughs> is it in your whole life downtime? <laughs> That's kind of mean. Um, of me to say, but I mean, isn't it kind of true? But I mean, I understand using it for like doodles uh, to kind of keep her from binging, but I thought the scratch art was helping with that too, but she stopped doing the scratch art because people ruined it for her. Where I kind of just want to maybe turn on some white noise or whatever it may be and just kind of calm myself. I really do enjoy therapeutic things, things that calm me throughout the day. Yes, I go to therapy. But it's nice to do things throughout the week when I'm not actually talking. Well, you can't be in therapy 24-7. You got to have other ways to cope and deal with things in your life. And learning coping learning coping mechanisms should be something that you learn in your therapy sessions. But my psychologist, that just makes me feel good and um, focused. And sometimes it makes me feel unfocused where I don't have to think about certain topics. Oh, speaking of certain topics, I know I'm all over the place. Oh, my God. What is happening? You guys, I did this, the first exercise, and I cried. Because we need I another journal. Cried. Oh, my God. It was so powerful. It was so good. Um, the basis for the first exercise is trauma. And maybe I could share with you guys one of these days what I wrote. I I, I would love to because I want to. This is a long Last video. Okay. No, you're good. You're good. Okay. Do we like? We do like, we do like. You like the green? Yeah, I do. Are you going to get do it? Do you like the red flannel more? 
That feels very like lumberjack. Lumberjack. Mm -hmm. okay. Lumberjane. I like it. What do you? What do you Which prefer? Ones do you like more though. I'm currently vlogging, by the way. <laughs> Oh, shit, my bad. No, you're good. I'm showing them because you can't see you. So I'm showing them like what you're showing me. <laughs> oh. Um, I like that one. This one more? Yeah. Okay. It's going to be comfy cozy. Comfy cozy. All right, babe. All right, baby. I love, you. I love you. I love you, baby. <laughs> She's so cute. Um, What was I saying? Oh, my God. She wanted to buy a new jacket because if you guys saw in like my recent haul, there was a, a jacket that she got, but she wanted like a different one. Yes. Um, she also kept the one that she got, but she wanted a different one because she likes it so much. She wanted a different. One. I have, I have no room to talk on that. I have like six different hoodies <laughs> that I wear in the winter. I, I really like this one here. It has Deathstroke, Terminator, and the back on it. It came in one of my um, world's finest boxes color i was talking about this um I, I i do want to open up to you guys a bit more about like some of my past stuff so you guys can just maybe be like oh okay I'm, i understand her a little bit more and plus it's just good like i i just i want people to relate a little bit to who i am as a person i feel like relating is uh builds connections between people so it I does really sure but i think some of that ship may have already sold for amberlynn a little bit of it um but i guess it's never too late to try okay so i was on instagram I was looking at um, my past pictures and I saw that, you know, I used to do like doodle posters and I would draw them for other people and I like really enjoyed um, doing it. It was like something I like really enjoyed and um, I just need therapeutic things to do. Um, I don't know. Anyways, so that's why I asked her like, will you get me a poster board? But they don't have like the really big poster board that I wanted. So she's, she got me like paper that's a little bit bigger than average size, which is going to work perfectly. And she also got me these markers. So I'm so excited. Um, I could do like random updates in my vlogs of me creating my little poster moment who am i i don't know i i literally do things that little children do why do i have to justify myself i always feel like i have to if it helps you and if it's therapeutic for you then do it justify myself like this is why i like to do legos this is why i like to doodle this is why like i just like legos because they're fun and i like the way they look i am a big kid I admit it. I have no problem admitting that. I have Funko Pops. You can't see them because of the green screen. But <laughs> I have one on my desk here. I never take my Pops out of the boxes. But this was a duplicate. Um, I already had one of the Scarlet Witch gingerbread. Uh, gin gin gingerbread Scarlet Witch. And my brother got me one for my birthday because he thought I didn't have one yet. So, And maybe I didn't at that whenever I told him I didn't have one, but then I got one. So I took her out because she's a duplicate. I did take my giant Batman. Have I shown you guys my giant Batman pop? Right there. It's my giant Batman pop. He's very large. It's my friendship lamp that two of my friends also have one. And theirs will light up in that color to show that I touched it and I'm thinking of them because I love them and I miss them. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> like it doesn't. But I always feel like I have to justify myself to people. I don't know. Justification, Lynn. Justification. I am on the weirdest sleeping schedule right now. I'm like massively tired right now. But I need to stay I've done really good on my sleep this week. I joined Frumpy Fits accountability group. If you don't watch her, she's a wonderful YouTuber. She's very sweet. And I've actually been hitting a lot of my goals this week. Or habits that I want to do. So go me. I haven't been to the gym. Awake. I need to fix this freaking sleeping schedule. You know, it's not that it like matters per se, because it's like I get about six to eight hours of sleep. Does it really matter for Amberlyn when she sleeps? Because she doesn't have a regular job she has to get up for. She could sleep from 2 a.m. until 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. And it wouldn't make a damn bit of difference because her girlfriend's working. So unless she has something that she wants to get up and do, what does it matter when she sleeps, to be honest? I mean, she she vlogs her life and stuff. So I understand wanting to be on a regular sleep schedule, but a regular sleep schedule for her could be anything. I mean, people that work overnights have a different sleep schedule. I mean, it's... Whatever works for her, really, to be honest. 
depending. So it's like, who cares when I do those six to eight hours of sleep? Who cares if it's 1 p.m.? <laughs> She's <laughs> look, we're making the same point. Did I get my camera put back in the right spot? I think so. My green screen's kind of I with the light above me, the, the ceiling light, it makes it a little more difficult for me to mask the green screen um when I use StreamYard, but PM to nine PM. Who cares if it's 8 p.m. to 4 a.m. Exactly. Like, who cares when I do it as long as I do it? I don't know why y'all would care. So I know a lot of people are like, what is your sleeping schedule like? Like, what do you do? Like, you're so lazy. Ma'am, what? It doesn't matter when I get six hours of sleep as long as I get them, right? No, I mainly, the reason why I my agree. goal is to freaking fix my sleeping schedule is because freaking Feline. I just made that whole point. But like I said, with her girlfriend, her girlfriend's going to be sleeping a different sleep schedule. So if Amber Lynn is sleeping at 10 a.m. and her girlfriend is up working, she has to be quiet to not wake Amber Lynn. I had an ex-girlfriend that would do that. She would be up in the living room watching TV until like 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning. And she would usually fall asleep on the couch. And then I would get up and have to use the bathroom and w wake her up and be like, why don't you come to bed? Um... But her being up watching TV would keep me awake longer than I needed to be. And I had a job. She was on disability. But then she would sleep until, you know, noon or like 2 o'clock. And it was frustrating for me on weekends whenever we had time to spend together. Because she would sleep the day away. And I would already be up and wanting to do stuff. And it would get frustrating for me because she would complain about, we never, we never go do anything. We never go see anything or do anything. And I'm like, well, because you sleep all goddamn day. <laughs> Maybe if you got up before two o'clock in the afternoon, we could go do something. So I understand her wanting to be on a similar sleep schedule as her partner, because then they can actually spend time together. Um, and then her girlfriend won't feel like she has to tiptoe around or be super quiet and, you know, vice versa for Amber Lynn. If she's up at like three in the morning doing her stuff, she doesn't have to worry about waking her girlfriend up. She has like a decent sleeping schedule. She wakes up in the morning. She does her work. You know, she goes to sleep at a decent time and, you know, she wants me to copy that energy so we can spend more time together and, I've always had problems. Makes sense. Sleeping. Um, I've had insomnia since I was a child. I have a hard time sleeping too, but I do. I mean, sometimes on weekends I'll sleep in, but I do like to get up early and go like get my errands done on the weekend. If I need to go to the store and stuff, I like to get up early and, oh, I'm, that, that is a horrible screen to pause on. I am so bad at that. Um, I like to get up early and go run my errands and get back home. And then I still have my whole day left to do whatever I need to do. Maybe I'll go to the farmer's market this weekend. The same when I went to on my birthday. I think the farmer's market's still open. I'll have to check. And I think if I, uh, <laughs> I think if I read you and showed you guys that first exercise in this here book um, of trauma, I think you would understand why I got the insomnia. I, <laughs> you might be able to have a little glimpse of that. Um, hmm. So maybe I could share that one day. I just want to feel like we'll I'm in see. a little bit of a safer a safer space for that. Anyway, so I'm Mike, and that's my pre-Halloween costume. Mike I'm sorry that I didn't do my makeup. Like, I was going to do it, like, different than usual. Like, there was going to be green. Like, it was going to be a whole moment. But it's fine. It's fine. She could paint her whole face like the eyeball. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop rambling now. So here is the good old paper she got me. And then the markers. Okay, some mini oh posters. I'm so excited to start. It's been so like it's been Starting years paper. since I doodled like this. I don't even know if I still have it in me, but uh, we'll see. I'm actually about to make something to eat. She's making eggs and what? Eggs with some habanero mushrooms and broccoli. Me, on the other hand. Okay. Oh, that steak is so froze. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do we have chicken sausage? Yeah, well, take the sausage out and, or the steak out and let it thaw for dinner. Take it out of the fridge. 
I'm gonna try to find some chicken sausage or something. I don't really know. So this is what I decided to make. Stir fries have definitely been my go-to. This is just some chicken sausage. She hasn't used any cauliflower rice. Broccoli, white onion, and scallion. I'm gonna add a little bit of sriracha and soy sauce. And that's pretty much gonna be it. So here is my <laughs> It has pockets. <laughs> it is uh, pretty cute. It's comfy. It has pockets. Us girls or guys or non-binaries love pockets. I Could you be all inclusive? It. I'm sure y'all probably figured that out. Oh, you got right. that from Torrid? Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. Right now, we're actually about to paint some pumpkins. Sounds they're fun. Not real? They're like foam. You could like cut into it and stuff, but huh. I think that we're gonna paint them. I'm not really sure what she's gonna paint hers, but I think I'm gonna paint mine as my uh I thought I had something right here. <laughs> it's part of the face. I'm gonna paint my pumpkin in my costume. I have to look at the paint. Let's just keep groping our boobs. Because I'm hoping that I even have the right colors to do said thing. I'm also hoping that I have the right paint brushes. We have well, you can so keep our fingers crossed. If you have a blue and a yellow, you can mix it to get the right green. All right, so hi, baby girl. <laughs> we do have paint. We have some Mondo Llama Artist watercolors, some of these moments. But this is what I'm going to be using because I need oh, that fella. I wish you would learn what words mean. That one, that one. We need a white moment. So here she is. This right here is a Goodwill box that I have to give to Goodwill. Let's do it. I have clothes I just so washed. I need to donate. We paint. We're on Hulu. There's this movie called Abandoned that I'm assuming is horror, but Emma Robert, Roberts, who's Roberts? Emma Roberts is in it as the main character. So hell yeah, it's about her, her husband, her baby. They move into a house and you know, you know how hauntings go. So huh. that's what we're watching now. We're about like, I don't know, almost 10 minutes in. All right, so the first okay. thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start with his eye. I was going to say eyes <laughs> until I realized. Maybe you should use a pencil and kind of outline what you want to put on there first. Um, There's only one. I'm afraid that I'm fixing to butcher this. Oh, my God. There's no turning back. It. I'm just going to go for it. Oh, my God. There it is. I, I keep forgetting she's left-handed. have begun. And I'm afraid to do anything else. Now, it is time for the bluish, greenish part of his eyeball. Oh my god. I'm trying to do this in a way to where I don't... It's so boring, I'm sorry. Where I don't have to, like, wait for anything to dry. Because I'm just too impatient. You could use a blow dryer. So. To dry it. I'm trying to be mathematical here, folks. Mathematical. I don't think that's the word you're looking for. How about strategic? All right, you guys, it's hard to do like this. So I will see you in a second. Okay, so this paint sucks. Like, let's let's be honest here. Um, so I'm gonna try. You might want to try acrylic. I with this paint and see, you know, if there's a difference. It might just um, be that these pumpkins don't want to be painted on. So I don't know. Let's see if this makes a difference. Um, I feel like it's a little better. It yeah. is, but since see, it's, it's just like so, since it's a smooth surface that isn't very porous, the paint isn't going to adhere to it or really soak into it very well. So you'd have to probably do a couple of layers. Do like one layer thin at first, and then go over it again with a second layer. That's my thoughts on that. Oh, clear. Does that make sense? It just doesn't feel as soft. What she maybe could have done is done the entire thing in green first and then put the eye part on. Solid. Oh, well. This is just, you know, for the funsies of it. This isn't no, like, art competition. This actually looks like a kindergartner has done it. But, you know, that's totes fine. That's totally fine. So, Feline is doing Naruto. And she's drawing her clouds, I'm assuming. But Lean's an anime fan. Paint, but she's going to discover the paint does not like these pumpkins at all. 
So I'm actually going to show you guys. Might try markers might work a little better, like Sharpie markers. And I used a real pumpkin with similar paint. It was just a few years ago. I'm actually going to put it right here real quick for you guys. Um, this is when I did Jack, which was so much fun. So I feel like we should have got real pumpkins, but it's okay. I mean, the experience is still fun. So now I'm about to go in. Actually, should I do his mouth next? No. Let me do his mouth real quick. I was about to like start coloring his head. You should do is do the green and then put the mouth on top of the green because you're going to have to try to paint around the mouth with the green if you do the mouth first. But let me do the mouth. I'll be right back. Alrighty. <laughs> There's his mouth. I tried to make him look like scared slash like, damn, I'm kind of ugly. <laughs> All right. This is the part that I'm the most excited for because I don't have to like actually try. I just kind of go for it. So I want you guys to be a part of this with me. Oh, how satisfying is that? I'm thinking about actually oh my the canvas after this because something about this just screams relaxing, therapeutic. Like I love painting. I'm just like not good at it. So, you know, <laughs> me too, girl, me too. There's an update on hers. Now she's coloring in the clouds. Did you make that color? Yeah. With what colors? Um, crimson red and like an orange red. Ah. All right, folks. Look at wifey mixed in. <laughs> it's just this paint is not taking to this pumpkin. But thankfully, the paint that she chose to use is. It's working so better. I'm mm -hmm. happy for her on that regard because mine looks horrendous. So this is the one that's working for her. It's the watercolor it's a watercolor one. one? Hmm. Um, and mine was acrylic. So I just don't think, I don't know. Which is fine. I'm gonna go see if I have any canvases left, which I'm pretty sure I do. Um, I'm just gonna yeah. give up on this fella. I mean, well, you know, <laughs> the front of his face it's a is good cute, effort, but it's just he looks like he's melting and he's just not happy. It's okay, I'm Mike. melting. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Trying to do a thumbnail. <laughs> yeah. So here is a uh, Mike. <laughs> And my junior, if you will. And we do have canvases. All right. What you going to paint? Two smalls and two mediums. So I don't know what we're going to come up with, but we're going to come up with something. Going to paint so something. an update on Feline's. Wow, that paint looks amazing. It looks good. Like it actually is working. You know what I'm saying? And I am about to create. I'm just using the smaller one for now. What are we going really to paint, girly? to do, but let's do it. Is this like Blinky and Inky or one of the ghosts from Pac-Man? Oh. So here is Who's my the candy corn ghost? ghost. What are these called again? Candy corn, my ghost candy corn. <laughs> I don't like candy corn. I think they're cute, but they taste disgusting. I like candy corn. Do you like candy corn? Candy corn is the worst candy <gasps> I've invented. Okay. I like candy corn. Yeah, there it is, folks. And she is almost done with her pumpkin. I am thinking about maybe actually using the bigger canvas and just doing something else. I mean, I'm not the best really? painter in the world but i just have a lot of fun doing it like that looks so bad <laughs> i might actually add like some white little dots or something to add something more to it wow it is completed it looks like you bought that professional on my oh line. please it looks so good it looks good are you gonna do a canvas moment yeah i can do a canvas moment i'm excited so i added the polka dots canvas moment uh which makes it look so much better. And Mike has almost dried and he looks so sad. But here's Feline's. <laughs> he is a little so sad. professionally done. But here's our cute little Halloween moment. I love that for us. We have not finished the movie. Adorable. Because our attention spans are very short. Aren't, aren't you all supposed to be moving? Uh, all right. I don't know why that just popped into my head that they're supposed to be moving to a new place out of state or something.
Ooh, guys, this is Chucky's second edition. They're literally just themed collectibles hidden inside. Let's open these. I don't know. So this what... is the same day and same moment as my last vlog when I opened the little mini brand. But I didn't okay. want to like bombard you guys with too much toys in one video. So I decided to add this to this vlog. So here's the first one. But if you guys don't know anything about me, you should know that I am Chucky obsessed. I've been watching since I was a little girl with really? my grandma. So let's do this. This is for you, grandma. Interesting. First things first. Oh, it's <laughs> Chucky a Chucky sticker. sticker. And I actually love it. So worth huh. the price already. Ball number two. Ooh, a bracelet that says Ada do. <laughs> <laughs> wait oh wait wait oh my god is chucky gonna come get me i you know what i'm not gonna say that for real because i'm afraid i do not want chucky to come visit me ball number three do you have a my buddy doll my what buddy my buddy wherever i go he's gonna go my buddy <laughs> my buddy kid sister <laughs> so i opened her up and i'm pretty sure it's what a magnet it? feline says don't put it on my computer because it's a magnet so i'm just gonna you know Put it right there. Exactly. Ball number four. That's why my microphone is on top of a plastic case sitting here on my laptop because the bottom is magnetic. What? It will erase your heart. Oh, it's a keychain! Huh. And it says wanna play. Oh my god, wait. Oh my god, wait, open. I'm like, oh my god, wait. Oh my god, I wait. Love this. So I actually love that. That's my favorite thing so far, besides the sticker. Ball number five. All right. What? Is it a pin? I love how I just have no idea what I'm going in for and I'm just like clueless. Wait, it feels like an eraser. Yes, it's a Chucky eraser. Wait, these things are so like random. So this is ball number six. I feel like people buy things like this is because it's like a mystery and that's what Weird. makes it fun, honestly. It is. So that's the only thing. <gasps> oh my God, what? Oh, it's Wait, a lanyard. Is this shoelaces? Oh, shoelaces. I am deceased times 12. Huh. <laughs> The tennis shoes you don't I'm wear. Admit, I don't think I would ever wear Chucky shoelaces, but I love it. I love the random. Why Ball not? Number seven. Ooh, seven, 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 six. Is, this? is it a oh, pin? Oh, it's a pin. Look at that. Oh. Ball number eight. Want to play? Uh, yes, I do. Actually, no, I don't. Do not come for me, Chucky. And don't come for me, audience. This feels like an eraser, but I know it's not. It's no, just a it's little like thing. A little... I don't really know. Like, you can put this on a lanyard. Last but not least, or a backpack. we have a patch, a Chucky patch. Wait, huh. I love this. So I thoroughly enjoyed this, and I almost wonder what other things could I have opened. There were so many bags there at Walmart where, Interesting. where I got this, uh, by the way. So it's like, what else? Like, it's so random. Sticker, magnet, pin, freaking shoelaces. It's a little I'm weird. I'm going to be putting this on my keys. I actually love this. I didn't know. I mean... I just find it kind of weird. There's a whole like Chucky little mini, <laughs> mini mystery thing. This is my favorite thing, I think. All right. Well, we're getting unboxing Lynn in the last couple of videos. That's interesting. I mean, it's, it's nice to see some of the interest she has. It's good to see her doing stuff with her girlfriend, little activities like painting the pumpkins. Um, her Mike Wazowski didn't turn out that great because of the, because of the paint she used, but Hey, a for effort. Um, yeah, what else was in that? I think that was really about it. She, oh, yeah, we had wifey shopping for another jacket. And, yeah, not much. I'm finding myself kind of thinking after watching like three of these or four of these, whatever I'm on, back to back. It's just like, what am I doing with my life? Why is this my hobby? <laughs> what, <laughs> um, yet, it is so and if you're watching this your hobby is watching me watch this <laughs> so um that's all i got for you on this one i think uh let's hop on into the next one here shortly and if you wouldn't mind hitting that like and subscribe and all that jazz and i hope you have a lovely day and until next time be safe and take care <laughs>